Trading, the Market Academy, the home of sports trading. Hi, I'm Mark, and this video is from the Trading Market Academy, the home of sports trading. In this video, we're going to look at dobbing. What is dobbing and how do you profit from it? Are you looking for a smart strategy to trade horses in play on Betfair? If you are, then you might wonder whether the dobbing technique is the best approach for you. This strategy isn't for newcomers to Betfair trading. You'll need to have at least a basic knowledge of trading strategies on Betfair. In addition, while this is a way of making good money, but you can also lose money. So you need to know exactly what you are doing. Let's see what it's all about. So what is dobbing? There are some aspects in common between dobbing and back to lay systems. If you know how to do the latter, you're off to a good start. However, you need to bear in mind that there are some important differences too. Basically, you place a back bet. Next, you use in-play betting to edge it. The dobbing term arose from the phrase double or bust. You will most commonly see it described as back to lay, even though it's 100% accurate. Your lay trade needs to be at half the odds of the back bet, but with double the stake. If I place £10 on a horse before the start of the race, at odds at decimal 7, and a £20 lay bet at odds at 3.5, would make £10 profit regardless of which horse won the race. Both bets would need to be matched to secure profit. At the moment, Betfair is widely seen as being the best place to do this. For a long time, this betting strategy was a well-kept secret. Thanks to the internet, it's now more widely known. Having said that, it's still used by a minority of bettors. This is a good thing, therefore it makes sense to take advantage of it just now while you can. The truth is, many people have never heard of it. Even people with years of betting experience might not know about it. It can be as big a surprise to some industry experts. Clearly, Dobbin isn't mainstream by any means. Is it easy to do? Well, this is a quite interesting question. In fact, it leads us to one of the more noteworthy aspects of Dobbin. This is the fact that some people consider it too easy. This might seem strange attitudes take when it comes to betting. Yet, it's what the punters seem to think. These words will normally be uttered by people who prefer traditional form of picking winners. Is there anything in their claims for it being too easy? I personally don't think it's that simple. Do your research on the runners well and if you want to secure long term profits with this strategy. By this stage you should be intrigued. What is dobbing really about? The strategy sounds kind of mysterious so far doesn't it? Well let's get down to the nitty gritty. This way of betting works because we can predict something specific. This is how certain horses will run a race. You see some of them are slow and steady, others start off slow before making their move later on. What type of horse are we interested in dobbing? This strategy relies on pace horses, also known as front runners. This type of horse will typically hit the front early on. Why is this so important to us? The key to dobbing is the horse like this will shorten in price as the races run and he hits the front, the odds shift. This is the sort of predictable price movement we need. The more things we can predict, the easier to trade profitably. So you want to back a horse to win, then you have to have him have a strong start so he takes the lead. At this point, the odds will have shortened, possibly significantly. Your next move is a lay bet. If you get the right price, then you have guaranteed profit in the bag. If your chosen horse starts powerfully, you can earn money long before the finish line. And when he strides ahead of the pack, the market will reflect him as being the favourite. This means that people will now be putting money on him. So, in a strong position to trade successfully. It doesn't matter to you who wins. If the runner fades and gets left behind, you win. No matter which rival romps home first, if your pick stays ahead all the way, then you still win. Making money from Dobbin largely comes down to quality of information. As you have seen, you can get hold of some valuable data for free, yet it's better to create your own as you go. This can be easy by starting to fill out an Excel sheet with details of your bets. You will want to know as much detail as you can. This will include details of how the race went. Did your horse take the lead? If so, was it for a brief moment or two? You're now ready to get down to business. Will you find the perfect way to make lots of money to start? How will you make your trades? It's important to see what is going on if you're able to and you should be able to watch some live feed is your horse looking good in the build-up or is he looking nervous is there something that's giving you a bad feeling about this trade if in doubt don't go ahead there will be another race along before too long you can basically get started at any point before the race begins you might notice the price goes down not long before the race starts why is this it could be due to other betters carrying out dobbing or back to lay bets if you identify this opportunity then others may have too this isn't always the case, but if the horse is a strong candidate for this strategy, the price normally comes down. This often happens in the 5 minutes before the start of the race. Ideally, you will place your bet around 10 minutes before the start time. The only real reason for this is to avoid the last minute stress. Don't forget that the idea is to lock in a profit. This typically means cashing out as soon as you can. It may feel too early, but it probably isn't. Hang on for too long and the potential profit may just disappear. Don't get greedy and hang off for the hope of getting a bigger profit. 
This isn't about trying to achieve the highest profit possible, it's about getting out with a decent profit. Exiting a trade too early is something you'll rarely regret doing. On the other hand, hanging about a bit too long will lead to bitter regrets. The best way to look at this is looking after your bankies key. You will do whatever is needed not to lose money. It's better to win a small amount than risk losing, even if you feel that you're passing up potential bigger profits. It can be hugely tempting to hang in longer. Will the odds keep moving in your favour? A few seconds and your profit might double? Don't give in to this temptation. How long does it take for a winning position to turn into a loss? This can happen in the blink of an eye. You'll be left feeling angry with yourself if you let a small profit turn into a loss because you got greedy. Many traders get some decent wins but want more. This means they start taking too many unnecessary risks. They may go on a good run of handsome profits in the way, however, at some point it will all come crashing down. How should you look at this strategy then? Try looking at Domin as a way of gradually building your profits. You can build your empire one brick at a time, there is really no other sensible way of doing it. As well as the financial aspects, don't neglect the effects on your health. Running risks and aiming for big wins can send your blood pressure rocketing. Take the sensible approach and look after your health at the same time. Knowing exactly when to exit is an art you will slowly learn. This means there is no guaranteed best way of doing so. One point to bear in mind is that course traders have a slight advantage over you. They get to see the action without the small delay on the TV images. If your horse starts to run out of steam, they will know fractionally before you do. Small differences like that add up eventually. It is always a smart idea to put the live feed from Betfur. Keep watching your horse to see its attitude, if it's desperate to hit front run right away, or does it look lethargic and not very interested. Many jockeys prepare to hit the front right away. You might not have noticed before how obvious it often looks. By paying close attention, you will start to understand the body language of a good pace horse. You should sense the urgency with which horse and jockey look to push their way to the very front. If it doesn't look like it's happening for this horse, then get out. Successful betters make money in the long term with Dobbin because they ditch losses quickly. You might not lose much, if anything, by doing this. Sticking around too long will see losses mount up though. When the bet isn't going to work out, getting out right away stops it being a disaster. You might break even or possibly get a tiny profit out of it if you're lucky. Working out when to exit is a fine art, so what you should do on your first bet. A clever approach is to cash in when your horse takes the lead. Be sure to check the live odds before you do. It should only take a second or so for the odds to drop. If they don't drop in a few seconds, then quickly exit. Something has gone wrong for you and the market isn't going to get better if you wait around. This is a typically the least risky way to get profit. Even if the lead only lasts a matter of seconds, you have made your profit. The odds shift swiftly because punters bet on your horse once it's leading. Others will close their lay bets on him at this point. This might seem like a fairly dull tactic. It certainly would be more exciting to keep your money riding on the horse. It's guaranteed to be more profitable to hang on in there, however. Watch how the race develops after, but without any regrets. Would you have won more money by holding on, or would the profits have gone up in smoke? You start to see a pattern and feel for when the maximum profit usually occurs. Of course, this maximum profit point varies from one race to another. In summary, Dobbin is a terrific way of getting the edge on the market when you research the horses. It does have some risks and drawbacks, but if you are smart about it, then you can pick up modest regular wins time after time. Well done for completing this video. Now time to move on to the next. Thanks for watching and together we're all trading the market.